here with another very interesting and exciting science lesson. Today we will be learning about the property of surface tension in liquids. To begin with the lesson, we will first watch a video. Observe the water bug walking on the surface of water. I'm sure you must have seen this in your real lives as well. Now you must be thinking that how is this water bug able to walk on the surface of water? And some of you may be also thinking that can humans also walk in the same way as this water bug is? Now, the answer to how this water bug is walking on the surface of water is surface tension. Now, you must be thinking, what is surface tension? And to understand it, we need to perform a small experiment as shown in the video, which I'll be showing it to you. In the video, you will see that they're using a penny and pouring some water on it. Please note down the things that are required for your experiment. As you saw in the video, the penny could hold 22 drops of water and when the 23rd drop was poured, the dome shape that appeared on the penny was destroyed and all the water was spilled. After this tutorial, try it at home and see how many drops your coin can hold. Now let's just discuss how this happens. Each water molecule is made up of hydrogen and oxygen atoms. Water molecules on the surface make a stronger bond with each other and thus create a stretched sheet which causes tension and that is surface tension. When you are doing your experiment, try to do it with different liquids. So, for example, soapy water or salty water. How surface tension is affected when we add soap or salt to water? You can try some other tricks like Try to make a paper clip float on the surface of glass of water, then drop some soap in it to see what happens. Write a paragraph explaining your conclusion based on the results and observations of the experiment. Research about two liquids which have surface tension less than water and two which have more than water. Also find out how is surface tension useful for us. After you are done with your work, take a clear screenshot of your work and attach it in the, the classwork. Thank you.